My name is Mayenda Ronald, a teacher of science. Welcome to Makile Kenya Academy, the faculty of scientific facts. Friends, today I'm going to take you through integrated science of primary four, of primary four, and our topic is human body organs. Human body organs. And this is our lesson three. But before we look at lesson three, let us first take a reflection of what we learned in lesson two. In lesson two, we looked at the human ear. Ear, we say that we have two ears on each person, this side and the other side. We say that the ear is used for hearing, so it's the sense organ for hearing. However, the ear has also another additional function that is for body balancing. The ear is used for body balancing. Friends, we say that the ear has the wax. That wax is used to help us help the ear to trap these foreign bodies and the dust. So, let us turn our minds to our lesson 3. In lesson 3, we are looking at the nose. I think each and every person is having his or her nose. The nose is one of the body sense organs. The sense organ called the nose is used for smelling. So, the nose has also the hair structures called has the hair structures called the cilia. So, in your nose, there are those hair structures called the cilia. This cilia help to draw for anybody's entering the nose. Also help to filter the air that enters our nose. However, even the nose also have another substance called mucus. The mucus are also formed in the nose also to help to warm the air that we breathe in. The mucus also help to moisten the air that we breathe in. So the air we breathe in is moistened and warmed by the substance called mucus. Then the air we breathe in is filtered by the cilia. So these two, sub, these two items in the nose are very important on our body. Friends, let's look at the structure of the nose. When you look at our nose, my nose like that, we have this part that we call the nostril. We have the nostril. The nostril is that hole that kind of, that's the, that passage of air into the lungs. It's what we call the nostril. So inside this nostril, here's what we have that hair called the cilia that help us to filter the air that we breathe in. The nose is formed on the in front part of the head. On our face here, here where we get our nose. Friends, Let's look at the, some of the diseases that affect the nose. The nose is affected by the disease called influenza. Influenza. Influenza is also called flu. The flu affects the nose, it affects also the lungs. So that's the common disease that affect our nose. Then we have the disorder that affect the nose. That is what we call nose bleeding. Nose bleeding. Some of us always have this problem of nose bleeding. And it comes as a result of when somebody breathes in dry air. When somebody breathes in dry air, you get that the black vessels begin to break or rupture then you find yourself having nose bleeding. Sometimes nose bleeding also comes as a result of maybe when you fall to someone gives you a blow on the nose. You also end up having nose bleeding. So let's look at how do we care for our nose so that it continues having the proper functioning. We can care for our nose one 
by washing our nose with clean water regularly to remove that dust or that that is trapped by, by the cilia. Two, you are also supposed to avoid pushing objects into your nose. There are some of us who like eating seeds, like peanuts, and you have some mucus around here. Then the genus remains here on the nose, on the mucus, then you pull. That seed will go into the nose. So avoid pushing the, the seeds into the nose. Also avoid cleaning our nose using sharp objects. Sharp objects also can injure our nose and end up having nose bleeding. So that has been our lesson four. Sorry, our lesson three, and we can only remember us and remind ourselves what we have learned today. We have said that the nose is found on the in front part of the body of the head. Two, we have said that the, the nose has the small hair called the cilia that help in trapping for any bodies. We have also said that the nose has the mucus, the mucus that help to moisten the air we breathe in and also to warm the air we breathe in. We have also said, looked at the disease that affect the nose and we say this is what we call the influenza or what we call flu. Then the disorder of the nose is the nose bleeding. Then we have finally looked at how can we care for our nose. We said wash your nose regularly with clean water and also make sure you don't push objects into our nose and avoid using sharp objects to clean your nose. Friends, I think we are allowing to end here for today and let us do that activity which we are having down there. After answering the activity, take a snap or a photo, send us through the WhatsApp. We shall mark you and give you the feedback. See you if you see me. God bless you.